in yeah, yeah thankfully okay good evening everyone my name is malika uh, this has been quite a day and a quite a task uh, we uh, come from the group narbada we have tried to uh, attempt to reach a conclusion ji khandekar ji before i even begin <laughs> यस प्लीज नर्मदा वाले सब हाथ उठा लीजिए आप लोग एक साथ बैठना चाहिए एंड हुट मी इन द मिडल ओके सो इट्स इट्स क्वाइट अ टास्क यू नो व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड इट ऑफ वी डिट अंडरस्टैंड कि व्हाट इज अ रिवर इज गोइंग टू बी सच अ कॉम्प्लेक्स इशू बट इट वाज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स इशू एंड एवरी टाइम आई से दिस इन यू नो आई लुक एट मनोज मिश्रा जी एंड आई ऑल्सोस्ट फील दैट ही सेज आई टोल्ड यू सो सो ही इज बीन टेलिंग मी सो फ्रॉम डे वन दैट इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ कॉम्प्लेक्स इशू सो लेट्स सी दैट वी हैव मैनेज टू डिसाइफर दिस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी अ लिटल बेट और नॉट वॉट इज अ रिवर वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद दैट एंड वी वर नॉट एबल टू रीच अ कंक्लूजन सो वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग द परस्पेक्टिव वेयर शुड बी बिगिन so we said okay ecological uh, is one aspect hydrogeological spiritual cultural anthropological historical social political we said it 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 is inclusive of all these aspects and we have perhaps taken into consideration the different perspectives but the point is what we had to understand that what is it not because we were not able to understand that what actually is a river so we decided what is it not we have understood that it is not static it is not an artificial drain it cannot be lifeless it cannot be embanked obstructed it cannot be without sand and sediments and it is a it, it it cannot be a carrier of waste water because it is a carrier of fresh water this is important ye baat bar bar uthi ki nadi ताज़ा पानी फ्रेश वाटर लेकर आएगी तभी उसकी सेल्फ क्लेंजिंग प्रॉपर्टी हो पाएगी तभी वो बहते बहते खुद को भी साफ कर पाएगी और तभी वो आगे जाकर नर्चर भी करेगी एंड दैट द रिवर के नॉट बी चैनलाइज दिस इज द इसेंशियल थिंग्स एट द रिवर इज नॉट देन वॉट इज अ रिवर वी कम बैक टू द गोल्डन क्वेश्चन अ रिवर ट्रेडिशनली सीन रिवर्ड एंड वर्शिप्ड एज अ डिवाइन फ्लो of our civilization culture is a living entity this is something that we would want to basically establish as the ground rule uh, hamare bihar se jitne uh, bhai aaye the prem kumar ji vijay kumar ji haath utha le aap log sabse pehle uh jab hi baat hui aur jis aur uh, aur jis bhavukta ke sath unhone kaha ki nadi hamari maa hai और ये और ये वॉज अ स्टैंडर्ड स्टेटमेंट है डिस्पाइट एवरी थिंग इंक्लूसिव इन द इंटायर डिस्कशन थ्रू आउट द डे नदी हमारी माँ है हेड रिमेन अनचेंज थ्रू आउट टिल द लास्ट मिनट ऑफ द इवनिंग सो आई हैड टू स्टैब्लिश दैट ग्राउंड रूल फर्स्ट दैट शी इज अ लिविंग एंटिटी रिवर्ड एंड वर्शिप्ड लिटरली ओके द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटरटवाइंड फ्लो ऑफ वॉटर्स मर्जिंग लिंकिंग वेरियस पार्ट्स मूव्स अ हेड एज अ रिवर that could be called as a river and a river is not just the manifested flow but also that from where she emerges also that to where she flows and also all that she touches all along her path so yes that is a river it is a complex path uh to basically summarize it uh, we had uh, we had lovely support from the group so we have come up with this definition we would want to submit this and the three other definitions to the plenary a living wide water course which has natural fresh unobstructed and original flow of water above and under the surface in its course nurturing life forms ecosystems culture conserving biodiversity in it and is inclusive of small and big tributaries in its catchment area that we think is a river oh, awesome uh when we were when we were trying to come up to this definition i know that this is a subject matter that is going to be discussed tomorrow par hame laga ki ye baat hame aaj bhi thodi si rakh leni chahiye that the challenges that we are facing kyunki isi ki madad se shayad hum is definition par bhi aa paaye the Uh, killing a life's resource in the name of development is is what is happening due to human intervention that is uh, excessive human intervention is happening water security is a challenge uh, erosion damming of rivers there is a loss of connect this is one thing that i really feel that uh, that, that there are two people within my group and who really expressed it ki behti nadi ke sath jo aapka connection hai that loss of connect with the flowing river 
is is one of the ma is is one of the biggest loss that people have felt which we do not keep into consideration when we start planning and when we start imagining or when we start um, uh, uh, defining rivers a uh, groundwater pollution exploitation a uh, flood prone encroachment overburden of the rivers sand mining water logging these were some common issues that were being sent in different parts of the different rivers that we have addressed uh there was um, जैसे मनोज मिश्रा जी के ग्रुप में था कि सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स की तरह हम बात नहीं करेंगे तो हमारे भी ग्रुप में देर वॉज देर वॉज क्वाइट अ लॉन्ग डिबेट ऑन सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स एंड यू नो वी वी टच द रॉन्ग नर्व फॉर लॉट ऑफ पीपल बट द सर्विसेज द सर्विसेज दैट वी प्रॉबेबली कुड कंक्लूड फंक्शन इन द सर्विसेज इरीगेशन ड्रिंकिंग वाटर ग्राउंड वाटर रिचार्ज द इंटायर वाटर साइकिल सेल्फ क्लेंजिंग प्रॉपर्टीज गिवज राइज टू लेंटिक वाटर बॉडीज डिसलिनेशन ऑफ द sea water conservation of biodiversity um recreation movement or navigation aesthetic values ye kuch services functions hum summarize kar paye the now in um, just in conclusion rivers are living entity uh, conservation and protection of the rivers is inclusive of protection of the riverine ecosystems so just saying that a patch of say 5 kilometers or 10 kilometers of 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 a particular path of the river needs to be preserved is not going to work until and unless the entire catchment area and the entire ecosystem is taken into consideration uh which was one was very nicely summarized by one of my group members is that we are not obliging the rivers by editing her flow or by doing any kind of conservation protection and we in fact are obliged because of her presence and because of her free flow uh very uh, uh, the, the last summary point that uh, was given by paritosh ji is connectivity of the river that has to be maintained in all three dimensions vertical dimension as a groundwater flow the height dimension in terms of precipitation and the lateral dimension in terms of the flood plains am i right sir vertical and height are the same okay <laughs> उत्तरकाशी जहाँ पे गंगा को गंगा के साथ जो काम कर रहे हैं Uh, what i could understand from the complex discussion that we had today is that we are standing at a point uh, where we have overstepped and there has been extensive overuse of the rivers and we basically need to put a stop to the exploitation because as of now all the rivers are overburdened encroached mined diverted and the state is directly impacting the human lives in general so uh, the four points that uh, uh, that that we wanted to end our definition was that a river is basically open continuous heterogeneous and unique flow of water that's all thank you so much <laughs> please sir you have said that uh, you have said that <coughs> river must be a living entity and also that uh, <clears throat> it should not be polluted right now as it happens uh, i had filed a case in the supreme court and i described the jamna river now the jamna river at that stage and all the statistics is recorded uh, quoted uh, had zero oxygen <laughs> oxygen right yeah now, if any body has zero oxygen level surely it is dead right and as far as the pollution load was concerned that was also provided and so it was highly polluted river right therefore i had asked the court to call it a dead river and there was huge objections but according to your definition it is still not a dead river it is how sir how is it not a dead river because the factors that basically would devise or would uh, would define the life to it uh, would be the would would be the living entity aspect no as you were saying the dissolve oxygen in the river i mean uh, uh, like like janak ji was saying also in our discussion that 360 days a river could be flowing but as long as it is polluted as long as it is uh, it is lifeless it cannot be called as a river it has to be called as a sewage 
So I don't, I mean, I completely agree to that viewpoint, unless my group wants to add something as per our discussion. Ji Devan Singh Ji, hmm. just a Madhika. second, sir. Clinical death. <laughs> it's it's in a coma. Is it is it in a coma? <laughs> right, Devan Singh Ji, you uh, yeah, say. Malika. Right. Uh, what I want to say is, a modern day reality must be taken into account while defining the river. So, human intervention is playing a large role in killing these rivers. So, in our definition, in our definition, we must contain the role of human intervention right. and the limits to which it must be allowed. So, what I wanted is that these limits are also incorporated in the definition, that uh, the human, li limit, uh, human limits of human intervention determine the existence or survival of the river in today's time. Right. So, Hello. this... Okay. Okay. So, plenary can take us... Sure. Open, continuous, heterogeneous, and unique flow of water. So, Janji, is that you want to add something? Yeah? You want to add something? Unless they want explanation. Okay. So, uh, anybody from my group, Narmada group, you guys, have I managed to put across the point? Okay, brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. If there are any, any additions or comments from Anybody else from the floor? Pardon? Intergroup baad mein. Intergroup baad mein discussion. Okay.